In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add snoot effects to images in Photoshop. My name is Accorded here and welcome to today's video. By the end of this video, you will be able to transform images with boring and plain backgrounds to stunning and more interesting artworks. Be sure to watch this video to the end for an added tip to make these effects even more better. Let's jump right into Photoshop and start editing. All right, so we have our image over here loaded up in Photoshop over here. Uh, we're going to start with the editing. So I'm going to drop the link to this Snoots effect in the description box below so you can check it out and then download. I have a couple of Snoots effects, um, some interesting ones that I'm sure you're going to love. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that I can check it out. And then I'd like you to comment where you're watching me from in the comment section, maybe watching from Cameroon, watching from Ghana. Let's communicate, right? So now let's start editing, right? So we have our image here. So what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to increase the size of the background so that we have enough space to add our smooth effects to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select the crop tool over here and then come here and then change the size to the Instagram size that is four by five. So we have it over here like this. So we're going to drag. I'm currently using the 2021 uh, Photoshop. So I'm going to hold Alt and then come to this handle and then drag it like this to increase the size of the background. And I'm going to pull or drag our image to the button like this and then select here. All right. So before I select or accept this change, I'm going to um, select content aware. Aware. So what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to automatically fill the background for us. Right. So. I'm going to now select OK. All right, so as you can see, our background is beautifully filled for us. Now we're going to cut out our subjects from the background. So we're going to easily do this by coming to select and then subjects. But it's going to create a selection around our subject. Yeah, so we have our selection around our subject over here like this. So we're going to hold control and then C to copy and then hold control again and V to paste. So as you can see here, we have our subjects cut out for us beautifully like this. So what we're going to do next is we're going to cut out the background as well to a different or a separate layer. So with our background layer selected, we're going to hold control and then click on layer one like this so then we have our subject selected again we're going to come to select and then select inverse All right so now we have our background selected as you can see so we're going to repeat the same process again by pressing ctrl and then c to copy and then ctrl and v to paste so now we have our subjects on one layer on one layer and then we have our background as well on another layer so let's make all this visible. So now for the sake of organization, let's change this to the name of this to the background. And then this to subject. All right. But hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe. And don't forget to like this video as well. Thank you in advance. <laughs> all right. So now um, we're going to go ahead now and then add our smooth effects to it since we have our subjects and then our background on separate layers so i have my smooth over here as i said earlier i have a couple of interesting smooths not just this but i have several ones that i'm going to add to the link for you to download and then try your hands on so we're going to select the market tool like this rectangular market tool and then select any of this and then drag it onto our uh, image to create our effect. So I think this this one is cool for me. I like this one. So I'm gonna come here. Let's, let's let me zoom it in a little bit so that you see what's going on. So I'm gonna select from here like this, and drag across it to create a selection like this, and then Control C to copy. Then I'm gonna come back to our image over here, and then select the background. Make sure the background is selected then control V to paste. So as you can see, we have our smooth effects on the background, as you can see right here. 
So we're going to increase the size by pressing Ctrl and then T to bring the transform handles. So we're going to drag it like this, holding Alt. Yeah, so now we have it big enough like this. Let me decrease it a little like so. Right, so we accept this change. Now I'm going to come to the blend mode and then remove this black thing from the back. So we're going to select screen. Screen always does this easily for us. As you can see right here, we have our smooth effect happening beautifully on our image. Let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see it well. Let me zoom in a little again. So what we're going to do next is we want to make this look as natural as possible. So we're going to come here, right click. And then select convert to smart objects. Then we're going to come to filter and then blur and then Gaussian blur. Then we're going to increase the blur radius a little bit like this. So we have this effect looking natural on the background. All right, I think 13 is OK. So I'm going to select OK. So there we have our first image looking nice with our snoots at the back. I guess that's the before and this is the after. Easily done. Easy peasy. Now let's move to the second image. So we have this one over here. So just like we did to the first one, we're going to increase the background. Yeah, so we're going to come to the crop tool. Select, just hold alt and then drag it out like this. And then let's, let me drag this a little down like this. I think this is okay. Then content aware fill selected. Then we're gonna press here, accept changes and wait for it to load depending on how fast your computer is. Yeah. All right. So we have our background beautifully filled. For us, as you can see, our image is looking much bigger thanks to Photoshop AI. So we're going to proceed to cutting our subjects from the background. So we're going to come to select subjects. All right. So we have our subjects here. Cuts. We have the selection of our subjects. So we're going to repeat this again by pressing Ctrl C to copy. Control V to paste. As you can see, we have our subject. Let me change the name to subjects. Double click and then subjects. So we select the background layer again, hold control and then press on the subject layer to bring back the selection. Then we're going to go back to selects and then we click on inverse to select the background. I'm going to repeat again, control C. Control V to paste the background. So we're going to change this name of this to background. Yeah, so now I have this two over here. So we're going to now import our snoot effect onto the image. So let me zoom out. Mm, this is one of the common ones I see people use a lot. So let's use this one. So I'm going to select with a re rectangular marquee tool selected. I'm going to drag across like this. Yes. And then control C to copy. Select the model. And then just control V to paste. Our smooth effect is happening here. So we're going to press control T to bring about the control, the transform controls. Let's position the smooth effect to the background. I just select accept changes, come to the blend mode, and then change it to screen. Wow, this is nice. I love I actually love this image. I downloaded it on Pinterest. I'm gonna add it to the download link so you can have the picture to play around with as well. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing I did to the first one. I'm gonna blur out this snow effect a little bit so that the image will look more natural. So Converts to smart object, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Mm, 
I think 13 is too much. I'm going to decrease it a little bit. So let's say, I think 8 is cool. Mm, let me bring it back a little bit to see. Mm, I think 8 is eight is okay. So I'm going to select okay. So there we have it. Our image and then our background, our smooth effects looking nice. So let's get to the bonus I promised I was going to give you. So there's the added bonus just to make our image or our smooth effects look much better. So the bonus is how to change the color of the snoots right so you're going to select our uh, hue and saturation like this you're going to hold alt between the snoots and then the hue and saturation like this and then click on if you see this icon over here just click on it like this yes to to clip the effect onto the snoot effect so i'm going to double click on the hue and saturation and then select colorize like this can see everything has changed which mm, yeah so now anything we do is going to affect the snoot effect right there as you can see the color is changing when i move the hue sliders to this side that you can see the color changing let's increase the uh, saturation a little bit to make the color pop more so we're going to move it around till we get a beautiful color that matches your image. As you can see, yellow matches quite well to this image. And let me zoom out and check it well. Yeah, it matches quite well. I can bring it back a little. Change the color to find other colors that match preferably. So this also match preferably. So, yeah. Let's do the same to our first image as well. So you know come here new adjustment layer hue and saturation press alt in between the snoots and then the hue and saturation adjustment layer and then just left click it to clip it onto the snoot all right then we're gonna select colorize and then just increase the, uh, the saturation and then move and then change the colors so everything starts looking more natural and nice yeah so before you do any of this always make sure your image is edited you've done your frequency separation and everything but if you don't know how to do frequency separation just check out this video over here to learn how to do frequency separation and then add your smooth effects to make your image even better thanks so much for watching see you guys later